All right. I wanted to cover this uh, example mostly because, um, well, just look at the explanation that uh, SOA gives. I mean, whatever. You judge it yourself. <laughs> I want to just go through it. Okay, I'm going to go through it. Uh, just I would think, I would think, unless you're just really on top of it, um, that this would be the way that you would approach it. This would be the way that I would approach it. Okay, um, so this is what we're given. We're given that uh, we have a bond purchased for a price of 100. Um, we're told that it's, uh, mature, it's yield, uh, maturity to yield is 0.08. In other words, just the effective rate is uh, 8%. We're looking for the duration, the Macaulay, Macaulay, Macaulay duration. That's what I say usually, uh, which is also just known as the duration. And we're given that the derivative uh, with respect to the yield to maturity is negative 700. So what the hell is going on here? Okay, let's just first write down, um, let's first write down the price, the price of the bond. Um, if you've been doing bond stuff, then you know that we can think of the price uh, as a function of the maturity rate, the yield rate. And usually, again, I usually just think of it as the effective rate uh, as a function of the effective rate. Okay, what is it equal to? Okay, we could write out um, the notation that you typically see involving the present value of an annuity immediate, but I'm going to write it out this way. Okay, uh, it's equal to, they tell me it has annual coupons, right? It's equal to this business. Uh, FR, I'm just going to factor that out. These are the coupons that are payable, right? I'm factoring that out of uh, everything. And then now what do I have is I have this uh, present value of an annuity immediate. So V plus V squared all the way up to VN, okay? And now I have to uh, redeem my bond, redeem my bond. And usually we use C for the redemption value. Okay, so they may have given me that it's redeemable at par, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter actually for this question. Okay, so there's my, my price actually. I know this is 100. This is actually 100, given. Okay, now, um, they tell me the derivative of the price is negative 700. So let's differentiate. I need to be a little careful when you differentiate uh, with respect to i, because remember that v actually is, is formulated this way. v is one plus i to the negative one. So it inherently has a negative exponent. So be careful when you do the power rule here, actually, well, yeah, it's the power rule, right? So this is equal to fr, and then this is going to be, the derivative of v is going to be negative v squared. So I'm thinking that I'm, gonna, I'm really using this definition, right? This is kind of like, almost like you integrate, but you're not, right? Because it's v is formulated this way. All right, and then minus 2v cubed, and then minus all the way down to minus nv to the n plus 1 minus so I dealt with uh, I dealt with that quantity okay and then minus um, C n V to the n plus 1 there's my derivative and we're told that the derivative is negative 700 so that's what I was given and we want to find the duration let's write down the duration um, in one of my videos, I give you a general formula for duration um, for any bond. Uh, but now I'm going to write it. I want to use these two things, right? So I want to write it a, a specific way. Okay. By the way, again, uh, I mentioned this before. The duration, the denominator is always the price. So we know the denominator is going to be 100. So right. So MACB is equal to. Uh, I need to write the numerator. It's not quite the derivative. This is what it's equal to. It's fr uh, times, uh, I need the present value, but I need it in, remember this is actually an increasing, a present value of an increasing annuity right here. So this is actually one times v plus two v squared plus all the way down to plus uh, n v to the n plus uh, c n v to the n uh, all over the price all over the price. The denominator, I repeat, the denominator of duration is always price. 
always the present value uh, of really of whatever actually um, cash flow you're looking at, all right? So how does this relate to the derivative? How does that relate to the derivative? Um, well, we, we can hopefully see uh, that if I take the derivative and I multiply it by something, what is that something? Why don't I multiply the derivative by one plus i, right? This is equal to, so hopefully you're seeing this. This right here is equal to take the derivative multiplied by negative, actually there's a negative in it as well, right? Multiply by negative one plus i. This derivative, this is equal to um, negative one plus i, uh, that's it, times the derivative. If I take the derivative and I multiply by negative one plus i, I get this, right? Equals that. So how does that, what does that do for me? So what did I just say? I said that this is negative 1.08, right? i is 0.08 times the derivative divided by 100. We have all these values, right? This is equal to negative 1.08 times the derivative, what's the derivative equal to? Negative 700 divided by 100, which is equal to uh, 1.08 times seven, which is something, which is something, I have this thing, I don't even need the BA2 plus, this is seven times 1.08, which is 7.56. This is 7.56. That takes care of it. That takes care of it. And um, hopefully this is a better explanation to you than what SOA did. Um, tell me what you think. And uh, thanks for watching.